Gilmail Fauci Galer, August Law, Fela Padre. Welcome everyone to the Lansdowne Club's 2014 St. Patrick's Day lunch. Uh, the noise is sort of reverberating a bit from the back, so if we could just give us, the speeches won't be too long because Barry O'Farrell's not coming, and he's the one who always talks the most. But anyway, after 15 years at the Convention Centre in Darling Harbour, we found a new home here at Glebe Island. Six months ago, this was Westland, but the New South Wales government purchase, was, which was the media centre at the, Olympic, uh, the London Olympics, and put it here whilst it redevelops the old convention centre. This is the first catered function here. It's been a massive logistical effort, and our thanks go to Infrastructure New South Wales, the Drevers Brothers from the Dockside Group, who are providing the catering, Keith Wooten from AV1 for the audiovisuals, and the wonderful Malou Barrios, General Manager of Sydney Exhibition Centre, who've all made everything here happen today from scratch, right down to the free ferry service. I don't think there's been so many Irish people on Sydney Harbour at the same time since the arrival of the First Fleet, and it has been today. There are 1,400 of us here, another world record-breaking St. Patrick's Day lunch. Um, the rules are simple, relax, enjoy the fine food and wine, and more particularly, the great company. The barrier, <laughs> the barrier, the Premier rang me, he's not well, and um, poor John Sedoto's come for the first time to our lunch. He's a member for Des Moines, and he's gonna follow me and say a few words for the Premier. And uh, I'd like to welcome back Luke Foley, MLC, representing the uh, Labour Party of New South Wales. Uh, from federal government, we welcome Tony Burke, Shadow Minister for Finance, Brendan O'Connor, Shadow Minister for Employment and Workplace Relations, Jamie Briggs, Assistant Minister for Infrastructure and Regional Development, and New South Wales Senator Deborah O'Neill. And all the way from Ireland, Simon Coveney, TD, Irish Minister for Agriculture, Food and Marine. Uh, and we appreciate the, the effort, Simon. You've come all the way here and we'll, uh, to celebrate what is now St. Patrick's Day week. And as always, we're delighted to welcome Ireland's Ambassador to Australia, Noel White, and our Consul General in Sydney, Katrina Inglesby. Other guests include Dublin-born Professor Patrick McGarry, Australian of the Year in 2010. And, uh, and later we'll talk to the indomitable Kevin Sheedy, who I think has single-handedly engineered the St. Patrick's Day derby between the Swans and the Great Western Sydney. And Michael Checker, whose Waratahs have started the season off very strongly, particularly beating the Reds. We are a non-profit making organization and we're deeply indebted to all of our sponsors, in particular Singapore Airlines, who once again sponsored two fabulous business class tickets from Sydney to London. Thank you, Singapore. The prize is supported by Aer Lingus and Ava's Rent-A-Car, the Four Seasons Hotel, and the Irish Tourist Board. Other prizes include a fully catered box, from the Waratahs at a game of your choice, wine from Yolamba, a table of for 20 people at the Dockside's Wolfie Restaurant, a voucher of, for $1,000 towards a new plush sofa at any one of the 33 stores, and tickets to a GWS Giants game. I'd also like to thank Guinness, uh, Tim Salt and Diageo for your ongoing support, Bacardi Lion for the Magnus Cider, Karen Buckley from the Cat and the Fiddle, who sponsored our program, and Satanta for putting together the sports video. Now, it is getting a bit noisy out there. Promise you it won't be too long. There's two notable achievements I'd like to acknowledge today. The first is to recognize one of our longtime members, Jim Lyons who shortly reaches that magnificent age of 90. So happy birthday in four weeks to Jim. And 
to Tom Powers, who has recently awarded the Medal of the Order of Australia for services to the Irish community, particularly through commemoration of the Great Fa Irish Famine. Well done, Tom. Now, the Lansdowne Club is a networking club. Most of you know the story of how 60 of us got together in the mid-80s for a dinner at the rugby club. The crack was mighty, and then at the end of the night, some agent ordered a bottle of port for each table, and that meant that we lost money on the night, so we had to organize another dinner to pay for the first. And in many ways, we were a virtual club. No home, no rules, and no money. Just functions where men, newly arrived Irish people would get to know each other in a non-computer age. At the time, it was a platform to assist with the integration process into Australia of migrants who otherwise were on their own. Times have changed, and today the term diaspora rides high on all government agendas. They've come to realize the importance of their overseas immigrants as a source of goodwill and, for many countries, a source of income. The Irish diaspora has always had a central force, and this has been St. Patrick's Day. It's a day celebrated by the Irish throughout the world, a day of fun, a sense of a community, and also a day to remember their Irish family and friends. Today we gather to celebrate St. Patrick, our Irish heritage, and the enormous influence the Irish have had in the establishment of we what we recognize as Australian culture. I would ask you to charge a glass and offer a toast to St. Patrick. To St. Patrick. Finally, I'd like to extend thanks on your behalf to the members of the Lansdowne Board. I think behind me there should be a, a list of all of, the, all, of the, all of the members. You can see it's quite a long list as we, uh, we change over into a newer, younger committee. We're putting on so many younger events during the year. Um, today wouldn't ha I mean, the person really who makes today happen is our events coordinator, Sabine Hockbum. Um, Sabine, uh, a big thank you from all of us at the Lansdowne Club, and I hope you enjoy those, uh, those little gift of flowers. Thank you, Sabine. Now, as you know, we have a busy shed schedule, and Malou has insisted that we wrap up by two. Now, that only gives us 13 hours, but we'll, we'll have to manage. Gurumina Mahaga, Happy St. Patrick's Day.